Jesus, the sixth part of his prayer, which is, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Now, this prayer is asking God to protect us from ourselves and the desires we have to sin, because sin will destroy you. It's also asking him to protect us from the devil. Now, some of you may not believe in the devil. I don't know why. Maybe you're afraid of him or you just don't believe. But Jesus believed. He talked about him a lot. And he put this in the prayer. Jesus did. So if it wasn't important for us to ask God to protect us from the evil one, he wouldn't have put it in there. So I pray God's protection over my kids, over my wife, over our church. Every day I'm praying for his protection. And uh, he is the protector. Now, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, you ought to look that up in the Bible. It talks about the armor of God. God has given us his armor. Why would he do that if we're not in a battle? And so it's the armor against the enemy, and it is successful armor. And you need to put it on every day and in your heart and in your mind. So, for instance, like these hurricanes, these aren't from God. These are from the enemy. Otherwise, why would we be praying against them? We'd be praying against God. No, God's good, and we're praying for God's protection over all those who have been hit by these hurricanes, that God's goodness and kindness and peace and resources would come upon them and restore their lives. So I pray that you pray every day for God's protection over your life, over your family's life, over your friend's life. Pray for me and my wife and my kids. We're leaders in the church, and the enemy really likes to pick off leaders. So we need your prayers desperately. So pray for us every day. I'm praying for you. God bless. See you tomorrow.